Let's do Covenant 25. I already picked the clans I wanted to go with for today. And it's gonna be Hellhound Umbra with the Shartel Queen and Shade Splitter. So let's jump in. Look at me actually being prepared. <laughs> Explosive Sigil, Daedalus, Scorch Fell, and Impatient Seraph. We have Ritual of Battle Inferno making for a morsel. Oh, that's expensive. Yeah, morsels don't trigger Red Eye. It says in the Red Eye tooltip. When you play a non morsel unit card on this floor. Hmm. Man, these are some expensive cards. Give me Anvil. Okay, I guess we're going with Collection of Tales then. That's nice. Nothing wrong with Collection of Tales. So, which path are we gonna go with? Hmm. Rally doesn't trigger from morsels, obviously. So in the end, we are gonna build imps anyways, most likely. Imperialist. I feel like Imperialist is okay. Let's go with that for now. Imperialist is basically a, a one, one level dip. You basically only go Imperialist once and then you do something else because Imperialist scales really badly. At least in my opinion. Uh, yeah, we need these guys to cool down a bit. So let's set up the top one of them on the bottom floor and then start feeding some morsels uh, the next one is 30 damage How do we win? I guess with the buffed up, uh, buffed up queen. Or maybe we win with Inferno. Mm, looks like that's not gonna be enough. Stupid fly. <laughs> um, I mean, a win is a win, but that trial was rough. With no AoE in the deck, hidden passage, fortify, and horn break. I do like hidden passage. Hmm. I do like Hidden Passage. I don't really like... Yeah, well, Homebreak is great too. But I think I'm gonna go with Passage here. And Tumbra Soul, Prismal Dust, making of a morsel. I want the backline damage. This Shartel Queen doesn't lend itself to Gorge units being on the same floor, but we m might be able to fit Gorge units on a different floor. 
Then again, our muscle generation is pretty mediocre. Branded warrior. I don't know about that. Um, we need something that carries us through the next fight. And I feel like branded warrior is not gonna do that. It's gonna take a crucible collector. Tails with rage, yeah, but we need to get slays. Mm. It's gonna be spell upgrades, right? Conceal removal, that's not really what I want. Shadow Eater, no. Muscle Master on the other hand, that might be fine. Let's definitely cost reduce the ritual of and upgrade an Antumbra Salt with damage and then reroll for another cost reduction. I don't really care about these cost reductions. I want the Antumbra Salt to be zero. I want to be able to play that no matter what. <laughs> Overgod shot, he still exists. It's just a rail unit. You don't see these as often. Um hmm. Tail Queen on the bottom floor with an imp behind her kills everyone. Muscle Master on the top. And an imp in front will block 5 damage. Seems worth it. No imp this turn. Okay. I see how it is. Retreat. And then we stop feeding this guy. Still no imp. But at least an Atumbra stall to get rid of the spikes. Extra life steal for the top floor. And I guess we just buff you up. Better to just use the mosses instead. Endless Welder Helper. Endless Welder Helper would be pretty good. Um, let's see. Lifesteal, that's actually perfect. Yeah. Transcend him would be, would be ideal. Right? Because of the high priest of the life. But we win on this floor easily. Fletchling Imp. Very nice. Base Prism. Amazing. And this is a skip. You know? With how this deck is going, I could see us go full Imperialist. Feel like I want a Pyre Health. <sighs> I only have 125 gold for the unit upgrade shop anyways. Light's Gift. Ooh, that's good. What? What do you mean? Intent on death? On the pile? 
the pyre doesn't have an extinguish. Why would you lose? Or do you, you mean the pyre has extinguish, you lose the game? That's not quite how it works. Um, hmm. I feel like this has to go top. We could give it plus 10 plus 10 this turn if we take 10 on the Chantel Queen. It's probably not worth it. this town but we do need some kills here uh, we do need one kill we get one kill regardless so. block some damage fledgling imp is nice uh, we could also inferno the bottom floor the bottom floor is gonna be a little bit problematic Actually, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, hmm. It's quite a bit of damage to take on the Chantel Queen. This floor isn't that big of a deal. I think we just do it like that. The question is, can we hidden passage another Forge Disciple up? Would we'll take 20 damage, that's not quite enough. Uh. Hmm. That has a pretty high chance of working out. I'm a idiot. I killed my imp. Oh, that was so bad. Yeah, Imperialist has a rough time without any generation. That's very true. So if I want to ascend, we need to play the imp in the back, uh, which makes me not want to ascend anymore. Instead we do this so we can kill the bomb. Just need some imps this turn. Well, guess we're about to take some damage. Saves us a little bit of damage. And the extra health, the life steal on the queen is nice.
Oh, right, she doesn't attack that way. Uh, that was actually not great. Uh, nothing to steal. So I guess it's just Mortal Miners. Actually, you know what? It's not worth dealing 18. Uh, we can play more mosses on the top, that's better. And we can still play team with the mosses. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Ninetail Orochi. The imps, they sound really sad when they die. can we do with a furnace tap? This deck looked like it, it's gonna be terrible for uh, Ember Drain. Like literally, literally, yeah. becomes literally useless after we played the furnace tap. But all of that said, it might still be worth picking up. <sighs> Unless it's forever consumed. I don't think it's Ratch here. I really don't think we want a Ratch. Uh, fine, I'll go with forever consumed. Mm, how important is capacity? How important is Ember? Ember is pretty important in this deck. I feel like more important than Raw even. Capacity, not that much. Card removals, tubes, Umbra units, or spell upgrades, and some gold and pyro health. I feel like the spell upgrades are pretty good. Fine. Give me some imp generation. No? Uh, yeah, rally is not what we want. Mm. It's a good double stack target. Nothing we really want to... Search stone. <laughs> Hold over petty theft for the crazy amber gener uh, gold generation. Okay, this is pretty fun. Too bad we can't afford the final uh, cost reduction. No. Armor 15 means we can't kill those with the Petty Theft. And the Petty Theft is very likely to make us 150 gold or even more than that. If we draw it early. Oh dear. I think we have to ascend this guy. We're almost playing everything here. So the petty theft goes on this guy. Next turn I petty theft the quill marksman and then finally the clip charman. So I don't want the Quill Marksman to die this turn. Queen Simpling is actually the better play here. Is it? Uh, 
It's not. Alright, that was another wave spawning. I should have killed the uh, marksman. Unless I'm fun of this town. Yeah, we have to kill this guy. Uh, I feel like I've made some terrible mistakes. Finally, a ritual of battle. Took us long enough to find one of these. Maybe I shouldn't have played the petty theft because of the holdover. But, you know, we're fine here, anyways. <laughs> the first time you've seen me turn down a challenge? Well, I could gain more gold by, taking the ch uh, by not taking the challenge. But, um, I think I did it once or twice before, maybe more than that, but yeah, I don't do it a whole lot. Uh, we really want more card draw soon, so next boss relic is definitely gonna be card draw. And I feel like we need some upgrades on this crucible collector. Uh, but removers? No, I think it's necessary. I don't mind the large stone, to be honest. It's actually decent. I think we want to reroll. Multi strike? Sure, we consume the lifesteal faster, but only if we actually need the multi strike hits. Give me a... Uh, not this. How terrible of an idea is it to pick up weather or cold stones? Oh, it's a terrible, terrible idea. And I don't want the others. Definitely not. The cold stones were a consideration, but... Maybe I should have bought the perch. We're generating a lot of gold. Oh, Mr. Crystal Cloak. Hmm. I think we're okay. We should be. Morsel Master on the top doesn't work anymore. Um, yeah. That means we have to have Shard Tail Queen on the top. That's really bad. Engine upgrade the bottom and play a Queen Simpling and uh, forever consumed, I suppose. Hmm. 
goes to the collector and making of a mouse will have to be played. I guess we throw away a train steward, even if that gives this guy some armor. Pretty happy we drew the Antumbra salt here because this guy has to go. Also, this guy needs to get out of the way. We need more damage. Should I just inferno this floor? Seems a bit unnecessary. There's still Paddy left in the deck, but we will have a target to kill. No matter what, right? I kinda wanna leave one of them. Yeah. Just for the penny death potential. Do I wanna keep the pile chomper in the deck? No. Definitely playing the making. Add some rage on the top floor. Are there any imps left? There are. Quite a few, in fact. Uh, we don't even need any imps for this. Um. Oh, there's no space for that. Right. Seven stealth. We have to deal with that. Oh, this makes it actually pretty easy. Yep. Um, I almost never pick Bone Red Lot. Bone Red Lot is just terrible. Bone Shine? About 30% of the time I see it. Roughly. Rage Serum, March of Shields, and Flame. Rage Serum is not bad with a collection of tails, but is it worth a card draw? And flame is a bit better because of the armor. We can use that on the queen. And we have quite a bit of ember. Excavation eruption. Another engine upgrade. I think I'm gonna pass here. We have five ember. That should be enough. We don't need another engine upgrade. Um, We do have our unit upgrades. But I would really like an endless imp. The left side is pretty good. But... Queen's Tail and Split Anvil are both great. Split Anvil is pretty strong in this deck. But Queen's Tail is not just Amber, it's also card draw, so I prefer that. Um, I'm probably gonna Endless the Fletchling Imp if I get the chance. Yeah, that's not gonna help. I kind of need some form of imp generation. There are a few ways I could get it. What's next floor? Merchant of Trinkets? Okay, we keep the remaining gold. Imp in a box would be decent, yes. Uh, even better would be... Uh, Impsicle, Endless on an Imp, or the Imp Parade Upgrade Path. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Actually. Now this is actually fine. We have 
with the large stone we have the power to push through the alabaster guardian uh, if we get the damage dealing morsel here we could kill the absolver hmm I feel we, like we have to priorita prioritize the mosses, mostly to keep this guy alive as well. A single Impia does the job. This is already fine. I can't skip Ritual of Battle for long, but in this hand there's also Engine Upgrade. Yeah, I think we have to skip the weight of contrition. I think the engine upgrade is too important in this fight. But now that we have the engine upgrade online, we should be able to play most of these pretty easily. I would like some morsels, but if I can't get them, I'll take rage. Rage is fine. The space prism doesn't really do much on that floor anymore. That has to happen. Six more damage. It's not quite enough. I definitely play a high up charm for here. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's actually not good enough, huh? Maybe I have to skip the morsel this turn for the imp. So I can get both of those dead. I feel like that's the case. But this imp is tanky. Maybe I should have used the queen simpling instead. Uh, this imp will actually not die for quite some... Ah, uh, 13 damage. No, he has one health. One too much health. It's still okay. It's okay because as long as this thing is alive, the, fle uh, the Crucible Collector doesn't take damage, pretty much. I want him to die, so I'm gonna kill the Backliner instead. And for the time being, we feed our queen. I didn't trigger queen's tail yet, but I don't want to. Get the gold. Let's get the morsels. Yeah, of course I wouldn't change the numbers. Um, that was maybe a bit too crazy. So, Fel will have 374 health left. Oh, that's actually quite a bit. We should be able to finish him on this floor with a bit of luck. Uh, I made a big mistake.
because I felt like I could fish for a, a kill with the <sighs> with the petty theft on fell. That was way too greedy. Impolate is a big damage spell. That's pretty good. Dark deal, however, is a great scaling card with almost no downside on our lifesteal guy. I think this gives us the best chance to get some imp generation. Uh, we actually do have the chance here. Should have looked at the shop first. Because with the... Hmm. Commemorative spike does work here. And if it works it's usually pretty good. I've never taken shadow box yet. This deck can in theory generate enough morsels to trigger it. But I feel like it's so insignificant. Like one time deal 150 damage to all. That's pretty hard to time. It's just not a great thing. I think I'm gonna go with commemorative and reroll. Ashes of the Fallen is great, but so is Hell Spanners. Mm, let's go with Ashes. Actually, I wanna get two train swords out of here. Spikes. Yes, that should be possible. I feel like we want the queen to be on a lower floor. And the collector to be higher up. Hi Nebula Purple, welcome. Maker is great. We want to play at least one imp. Um, nice. I guess another imp. Otherwise, the steel wings won't die and we can't kill the gilded wing at all. Sure. I mean, I was always gonna play that imp, I was just questioning where to play it. Mm, we don't want that multi strike here. It's actually pretty painful. Let's get one of these guys out of the way. One imp in front to tank the Gilded Wing damage. Uh, the other imp might not want to play that yet. No, we do generate an imp every turn. We don't need to keep them around for anything. Also, Excavator will die unless I forever consumed. Uh, we're dealing f 77. So we need to deal 90. A stupid fly, go away. Hippies. Things. Definitely engine upgrade here. Uh, we have to do something on this floor. Petty theft, the backliner. Yeah, that's already pretty good. 
And then Queen Simpling in the back. Sure. Stack some more rage on this guy. Another Queen Simpling. I should probably have tried to find a way to play the Shade Splitter. Um, this guy is adding 15, this guy is adding 11. Then again, the 15 is easier to block with. Uh, not really. Actually, we might want to keep the Wing Conduit around. For slaying. So we will play the imps in front of the queen. Yeah, that way we can slay this guy this turn, and the next turn we can slay that guy. That's nice. Rage, rage. That's actually an extra hit for 30, while this is an extra hit for 49. So this is obviously better. And that's even better, because that gives us not just a block, but also a hit. We got a lot of gold out of this fight. Tire Chomp or Impish Scholar? What does Impish Scholar get? Engine Upgrade? And Space Prism. That seems good. Ember Cash, Cave In, Feast. I'll take a feast. We have enough Mortal Generation, especially with the Mortal Master, that a Feast can do some nice work in this deck. Wing. Ooh, I want that Dimsicle. Yeah. Don't want Sketches, that's actually pretty bad. Don't want Wing Clippings, I think? Not that I don't want them, I just think there are much better things we could get. <sighs> Consumer Crown, maybe? Double stack the Dark Deal, I guess? Cost reuse it again? Is there something? Yeah, yeah, cost reuse it again. Magic Power and Consume is not something we want. I think I'm gonna buy Consume Crown. Hi, Karas Wine. It's going well. We have a pretty good deck. Uh, I definitely want a cost reduction. Let's put that on... Ritual of Battle, I suppose. Consume removal seems unnecessary. We don't need to play these cards multiple times. Although it's not terrible on a... On uh, Space Prism. I'm gonna take the Consume Crown. Do we have any way to gain armor at all? Yeah, we do have one way. <laughs> With the M Flame, but that's not really great. Firebox? Is Firebox worth it? I could buy Firebox and a removal. Or I could buy two removals instead. It's always gonna be one removal on a Shade Splitter, I think. Then I guess... 
I mean the first turn is the least expensive usually because we have guaranteed a zero and a one cost in our hand. Uh, one cost being either the Crucible Collector or the Morsel Master. Yeah, I think we are better off buying another perch on a train sewer. And we still have a tube to do. And that's gonna go on Ritual of Battle. No, no, no. Dark deal. Oh, yeah, I think Dark deal is fine. Rallying Emblem. Uh, this guy might be a bit annoying. But honestly, as long as we don't make him larger than our... As long as we make sure his health doesn't go above the health of our... Hmm. The health of our uh, top floor guy, Crucible something something. Sure, l l let's make you uh, a fighting machine. Uh, don't really need to play anything on the bottom floor, so I won't. The hidden passage on a Morsel Miner is pretty tempting. It's just one attack. Sure. Yeah, we have to play some units this turn. Queen Simpling in the front should be enough. Actually, no, because of the Seraph hit. Gonna play another Queen Simpling, uh, Simpling on this floor and a Pyot Shumper. Oh, block the Seraph hit. Uh, the Morsel doesn't trigger Incant, uh, Red Eye. It doesn't trigger Incant either, but... Okay, 28 attack. I think we can deal with that. But I can't play too many spells on the top floor because if this guy hits for 30 The crucible collector is gonna have a bad time um, I want to get the space. Yeah, I think so. Well, the helper is great. Um, let's play Shade Split also. Might as well block the hit here. And just get his muscles out. This would straight up kill a Gilded Wing. I think that's better than Inferno. It's easier to deal with a single Gilded Wing and the Light Wings behind than with just two Gilded Wings on 90 health. We 
could gain two amber right now and the feast, so we could play the petty death, but that's not really worth it. We don't need any more gold, we have no way to spend it after all. Uh oh. Engine upgrade the bottom floor. I feel like we have to play Making of a Mortal. I think I do want to play an Imp to AoE the backliners. Okay, that's good. 70 health now. Makes us a bit less vulnerable to Seraph one-shotting our guy, maybe. Can play non mortal units on that floor. We can play Morsels, however. Morsels are fine. Do want to block that damage. Dark Deal actually kills my Crucible Collector if I play it this time. We need more health. Lifesteal for the Short Hill Queen is actually amazing. That heals her back to full. Taking a hit for 64, not very nice. Okay, I have to keep the Shartel Queen alive. Uh, I wanna play spells here first. So this guy is gonna deal 66, so we can tank the damage of a dark deal. Do wanna play the making of a morsel, and then we ascend Sarah. I do need something to hit with the queen. Okay, final wave. Whoo, this melee weakness madness stops. Play a higher chomper. Actually, maybe I should have taken the hit there because now I am weak to melee. Wait, how does the Seraph not? Oh, the Seraph is dazed. Wait, why is the Seraph dazed? Oh, because of the Iron Drop Cage. Um, I mean, this guy has 10 lifesteal. As long as we don't get the Seraph to 80 attack or more, we are okay. can block hits here, so playing these more uh, imps is actually pointless. Because the Seraph is dazed and we just throw the imps. After all. But we are fine. 
perfectly fine. Not gonna play anymore. Whew. That that last fight was pretty tough. This deck didn't really like being up against Impatient Sarah. Because of the rally thing. And Believe Weakness was also pretty bad. But it worked out. If because we played carefully. It actually worked out. Okay. That makes 14 completed clan combinations. Next time I guess we'll do a melting remnant one and then there's only one left for each clan. Okay. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. This Crucible Collector was actually our main carry unit. I have done all the old expert challenges. Nebula Purple. Um, they are on my YouTube, but they are under the Covenant 25 playlist, I think. Um, but I titled them Expert Challenge, I think. So you should be able to find those on my youtube um yeah i've done the 15 old ones i haven't done the five new ones that were added with friends and foes that will come after i've i'm finished with uh all the clan combination wins yeah this run was pretty solid uh, the Crucible Collector was really our main carry unit and the Shoutail Queen was mostly a supporter but she did her job pretty well at least in the final stages of the f of the run. Early on, mm, yeah, I guess she was there. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem when you go with Imperialist first without, heavy, without finding Endless or having uh, Impsicle or having the uh, Imp... Uh, imp parade path you only have so many imps to use something like an imp in a box with an impish scholar can, can go a long way in increasing that but you also need to draw the imps every turn usually for her to be to perform at the uh, peak per performance basically because you usually want an AOE to go off every turn other than the Shartel Queen, this was mostly a Crucible Collector Rage build. Yeah. And we had the Petty Theft giving us a lot of coins to spend. That thing probably generated about 500 gold over the course of this run. So that's pretty nice. Maybe even more than that. Yeah, I think we killed more than 10 units with it. 